but it's a wonderful place to ride dirt bikes. And, and, and it's such a hidden gem I would have never in a million years known if I uh, didn't buy that GS. It opened up a whole new world. This is a real quick one, just a minute, but it's a pretty neat video. This is on a, a just 100% dirt bike, a Husqvarna 500 riding with a bunch of these Pensacola area riders all on dirt bikes. Because only 2% of the world's roads are paved. Yeah, that's Mother Nature makes a beautiful product. That is a crusty guy up in front of me. Thanks, right? Vic's probably leading this. Yeah, I'm sure Vic is leading. Vic always leading. Watch this, right around this corner. Right here. Hang on, it's coming back. Mother Nature is so cool. <laughs> showed this to my wife last night. She said, was that a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> that is a big squirrel. That's what our old friend Hank used to call a forest rat. <laughs> that was a squirrel. Right now, if you go out there, you don't see those. You see spiders. So uh, I, I don't ride in August or September. Pensacola area riders. Great bunch of guys. A bunch are here now. Ages 20 to 70. Like Vic says, uh, what, what do you say, Vic? Very... What, what's that saying at the end? Get over there. I don't know. What's Something about you. <laughs> you don't get old. Few left behind? No, it's such a cool saying. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Everyone Dang. invited, nobody died. There we go. Everyone in, all invited, very few left behind. Okay, let's kill this. All right, we're getting close. Thank you for hanging. Guys, I don't know how long they've been doing. All right, I think that we are just to... Okay, yeah, we're at the, one more video. All right, now this, this is up at the. All right, here we are. It's up at the International Rally up in uh, just outside of Buffalo. In where the hell was it? Hamburg. Thank you, Hamburg, New York. The GS Giants is a group that, that rides dirt bikes as, I mean, rides GSs as dirt bikes. And they're saying, you know, for those that say, for those that say the GS isn't a dirt bike, what they say very politely is the GS is a dirt bike, you can't ride. And these guys are good, they're humble, they're really cool. And this course, uh, apparently they make these at most of the rallies. They, you know, they've got heavy equipment and they built this skills course. It was awesome and there were guys up there who uh, actually there, there's something called the GS trophy and you know people from all over the world uh, converge on Thailand and there were three guys from the US that actually won and made it all the way to Thailand they, they were really fun to watch but this is the course I, I would love to get world. something like this going out here or something I'm gonna take you through it so here we are at the start we start in you guys the hear that? and there are two yeah. courses. There's the uh, the badass and the super badass. You can kind of see up there those arrows. The blue on the right is the badass. Uh, the super badass on the left is the red. So I'm going to take you through like I'm a super badass. Which uh, I'm not. Of course, yesterday was probably, uh, I probably fell more than any other person, but it was huge fun. So, so here we go. We start. And the first thing we have is a sand obstacle. So you're, you're going through the sand, and you're up on the pegs. To be super badass, you have to turn halfway through, and then come out the other side. So here we are now. Next section is the whoop de doos There's about three of them. You're walking up one. Yeah, I'm jogging. I could barely jog it. Down it. <laughs> up the other. I got some better pictures. you got to go in between the hay bales, which seems like no big deal, but when you're on the big bike, it certainly is a, a deal anyway. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Super badass. We're on the left. we got to come up this big hill between the hay bales up. And then you got to turn and continue your turn and go up another big hill. So, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> 
<laughs> see the course these guys built it was really cool and now super bass we got a big drop, drop off so uh again you that you're was, not stopping or you lose points this is going down in front break with the big chance <laughs> but you don't go that fast because like, the madhouse would come out of it tear this up and now you got the wall of death the wall of death is like a, orange, old, you know. a red line and a blue line super badass you have to stay above the red line which i'm not going to be able to do it's about right here all right. Now here we come into the the pit and this obstacle. What you do is you gotta come down. To be super badass, come up once. Go down into it. Come up once, but see that blue line. You can't go past it. You're out of bounds, and you lose all your. It's like a trials course on a. You know, five, six hundred pound bike. And now you're set up for the Watching these guys that are really good, it was that's great fun. unbelievable. And you can see, super badass, we got a log. You got to come up. Front wheel has to stay on the log. If you make it to the red line, you're halfway. Get half the points all the way. Get all the points. Now this next one's exciting. One of the guys I camped with fell off and did some big damage when you go up. And over these logs. Hey, big logs. Bum, you may. That's what it looks like the other way. But it's amazing. The okay. bike wants to do it. Oh, yeah. It's if you well, leave I'm it alone, the bike's gonna do it. It's us that we mess it up, or it's me that messes it up. Barrel obstacles. So here, you're pretty much not touching the throttle. You're just all clutch. Here you're Doing basically turning on. lock right. to lock. Mm -hmm. Leaning, you're turning left and leaning over. And you gotta do some major turning leaning right, to leaning over and left. Happen. Now the other. Alright. Now what we got, you can't see it because the tennis balls are gone. But you'd have to slow down, pick up a tennis ball, drop it here. Here we go. Again, you you put your foot down. <coughs> pick this one up. Put your foot down, you lose points. Okay, here's an exciting one. Now we come up to the teeter totter, and you gotta keep your speed just this right. This is really scary to watch. Slow down yesterday, somebody went off it. You gotta keep constant speed. Go up. Boom. Now you're done. Now it's a tire. A lot of people got hung up on this. Not that big a deal. You gotta keep your speed up, and now. You gotta keep it up and up to make it over. Now finally, I'm not running through. But there's water the water hazard. hazard. I know, I'm with that. There's the water hazard. That's probably about 20 inches deep, a little less than two feet, I'd say. Rock from the bottom to simulate a stream crossing, and you pop out. And there you go. We need to build one, don't you think? Somewhere. Yes. Somebody's got property. That would be awesome. Right there was, it was crazy. Signing off. I'll show you now some pictures of people doing it. Make sure you exit out so that's what. Oh yeah, thanks, son. Think that the end. The rest of Mountain, 2015, second annual. Okay. All right. This is the. That's actually this guy doing it. I, and we we all had numbers. My number's still on it, but 183, we, they, they kept score. And the next day, they posted the results. And basically, you started with, I think, 10 points for each obstacle. And any time you did something that wasn't right, they took points away. So, you know, you started with great, perfect score, and then you worked down from there. Uh, and they didn't put names up on on the results sheet you had to find your your number and i'm looking looking and i couldn't find it and all of a sudden i looked all the way to the last one and it was number 183 which was my number so i was the the best of the worst or the all-time worst but this is the same but there's a lot of room for improvement i can't wait till next time this is somebody going down the drop off that's the wall of death that was me going up one of the whoopie doos 
and that was me going down one of them with you. That's going down the drop off. The wall of death. This is this guy. The day before, he dumped on this. He, he went over and uh, just broke a bunch of stuff. It was a bummer. But I was proud of him for getting back on it the next day. There's a uh, teeter totter. That was crazy. It really wasn't that tough. You just had to go and keep your speed up. And this was a big tire. And you can't, it looks like he's on the ground, but he's off the ground. The, the guys that were really good, you could score extra points by, as soon as you're on it, stopping and doing a trial stop and then going again. So and there were guys that were doing that. Again, Madhouse would and could. That's the water, the water has it. All right, last there's some pictures. This, uh, for anybody that, that wants to go see the world but just doesn't want to do it on their own, Maximal Tours, Max and Barry are here. This is uh, last year or two years ago in the Alps. It was life-changing, bucket list stuff, absolutely unbelievable. This was uh, around Lake Garda, I think, right? It was, it was in Italy. It was unbelievable fun. This, anybody, I, I won't, won't make you guess, but that's uh, Big Ben, Texas. This is, if, if I point to these guys, can you see those cactus? In Mexico. It's uh, Arizona, but it could be. Yeah, it's Arizona. This, this is, well, this is Arizona, too. This was one of the coolest things. Before that crazy Utah road, this was the neatest thing I ever did. It was a... Uh, there's a little town, a mountain town in Arizona called Jerome. It's just north. Been there. You've been there. Yeah, cool town, huh? Yeah, Did you go up to the gold mine cool. north of it? Yeah. yeah. That's, this is the road that you keep going from the gold mine. It goes up and over the mountain. I, I did it because my uncle told me, hey, it's pretty cool. We did it in a car. You'll be fine. The only bummer was I, I, had, I looked at my, my GPS, and it said I had 30 miles of gas, and I, I thought that the road was 16 miles. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I got plenty of plenty of reserve. <laughs> well, I'm riding, riding, riding. I made it to the up and over, and and I'm thinking, yeah, everything's good, but you know, where the hell's the end of this thing? <laughs> and now I looked at my my miles to empty. They were 14, and I'm like, shit, this isn't right. So I, you know, the Nav Five is so cool. You can push that fuel tank or the gas pump. And it tells you where the gas stations are. The closest one was 16 miles away. And I had 14 distance till empty. I was never so scared because I'm in the dirt. And uh, I thought I knew where I was, but I didn't. That's where those map things came into play. And uh, bottom line, I pulled into this gas station. It, the thing clicked off to one. And uh, John Zabel told me afterwards, yeah, you can end up going, you know, you can go. Ten. I only made seven miles past zero. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know you had any past zero, and I, I was. No, I, I, really, did it. I ran out on purpose one time, and it went seven miles past zero. Wow. I think, did you go on to Prescott, too? I, I did. I, I came through Prescott. Oh, what a great place. If I was going to move someplace, I'd love And you know what? This is somebody told me later when I stopped and got gas. They told me that this area is where those smoke jumpers jumped in and, and were killed, the guys that were fighting the fire. So it's kind of solemn. I kind of feel like maybe they were a guardian angel. Great ride. And this is a, everybody knows who that is, right? Or at least, yeah, Yosemite. That's, uh, I had to put a pretty girl. I, I don't know how I got her, but uh, she's my wife. Anybody? California, of course. Yeah, that's, uh, it, it's actually coming down from, uh, Yosemite, that was Kings Canyon. This is Lake Isabella. Uh, continued down south. Uh, it's just prior to getting on the other side of the mountains going towards uh, Las Vegas. Death Valley. This is kind of neat. This, uh, this road was a kind of a, a sporty gravel road with big baby head rocks. And, you know, I, I rode and I thought, you know, I'm glad I'm on this bike and not on the Harley. I, there's no way a Harley could have made it. And as soon as that thought just cleared, three guys on Harleys came down. <laughs> Felt like the biggest wuss. It, again, it's, it's a dirt bike. You just can't ride. My favorite picture from all of the trips. This is on the way home from the first one. This is Socorro, New Mexico. And uh, I knew pulling in, it was a long day, riding you know, through rain. It was cold. 
uh, I, I knew I was out of bourbon. So I knew as soon as I pulled into Socorro, the first thing I needed was a liquor store. And I found one. Now, thank you, God, it was right there. And I pull in, I'm getting off the bike, and these guys are drinking back there. And they say, hey, man, come on, let's, let's buy you a beer. So I, I looked at them, and I thought, I, I might get stabbed, but I, I don't see a way that I'm not going to have a beer with them. So I did, and we ended up hanging out and talking for 30 minutes, and they were the greatest guys ever. And I said, you guys have to let me take a picture to which they happily obliged, and uh, we swapped email addresses. I'm waiting for an invitation, but anyway, that was a lot of fun. You meet the nicest people on a Honda, they used to say, right? This is a Colorado. That is on the way to Silverton, as is that and that. This is in Utah. This was at the other end is the last story I got for you. This was uh, the Burr the switchback road showed you. We made it down to the bottom of Burr Switchback Trail and we had two choices. We could either turn around and go back up or we could ride on out on the Notam Bullfrog Road which is just like it's this for 30 miles. We chose wrong and chose to ride out on Notam Bullfrog. And it, it would have been fine. It was really, you know, it was easy riding for anybody that's ridden on the sand. The problem was that two guys I was with, one guy was really pretty skilled on the 800 GS. The other guy was on a 1200 GS and talked a lot, but couldn't ride. And anyway, I stopped to take this in another picture and uh, they went ahead and I got back on my bike and I have to catch them. So I'm going and I'm up on the pegs and got pretty good velocity going. And as I'm catching up to that guy who's not so good, there was a car coming the other way. So this guy in front of me turned to the right and slowed down in deep sand. But prior to that, I sped up because it was deep sand. Well, unfortunately, he got in deeper sand to the right and turned to the left, and I hit him, and we bumped uglies. My, uh, my right cylinder hit the back of his left cylinder. His bike's completely disabled. I shattered his uh, valve cover. All his oil's gone. My bike, it, it was in better shape, but uh, it ended up, the crash bar uh, snipped my uh, coil wire. So I, the bike started, but it was only running on one cylinder, so I shut it down. I didn't want to damage it. Bottom line, we were stuck for six hours. The, the one guy whose bike was still operable took a picture of our uh, MOA card, which is towing insurance, and he split. He was Lassie. Go get help, Lassie. Billy's in the well. So he did that. And uh, six hours later, a, a truck came. And we, you know, we were getting ready to spend the night because it was 7.30 when the truck finally came. And the worst part was this guy, he's from San Francisco. And it turns out he's a militant vegan. Just, and I, I don't want to get political. But just, we'll say he's a militant vegan from San Francisco and then having to spend six hours, it, it, was, it was much less than fun. <laughs> this is at Niagara Falls. <laughs> Say again? You had a firearm with you. Anybody know where this is? Yeah. It, it's New River Gorge, right? New River Gorge, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had to stop and take a picture. West Virginia. The last is, is don't forget to journal it. We, I was talking with Barry, and you know, you're, you're usually too tired to, uh, to write anything down at the end of the day, but the next morning, uh, I've made it a point to, to just journal because, you know, the older we get, well, number one, the older we get, the better we were, but uh, there's so many cool memories that will be so neat to look back on and shoot tomorrow because I would have forgotten them otherwise. But 10 years, it will be so cool to look back on this. Someday, maybe we can't ride anymore. I hope that day never comes, but uh, it's really neat to be able to, to look at that stuff. And, and that's it, guys and gals. Thank you so much. It's been really beautiful. <laughs> Any questions at all? Tell, John, tell them how you managed to get out of there with the disabled bike. Thank you. Yeah, here, here, uh, there were the JP. And here, that is the JP12. Thank you. Not only that, it, it's also a testament to having uh, a resource like 
Adventure Motorsports. You know, I, I got up, I didn't sleep at all. I was just sweating. My bike's wrecked. I broke another guy.